What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Upshift Exotics. We started this vlog kind of where we left off on the last vlog. We're back here at Turbo, but it's not cars and turbo today. We're just simply meeting here. And as you can tell, we've got the crew with us. Obviously the Upshift Exotics Porsche, my pet bulls, Huracan. We've got another Huracan. This one is sick. And then we've got a GT3 RS. Everyone's in there getting coffee. We're gonna join them and then we're gonna go to a new supercar vault today and see what they have. So here we go. Porsche and two Lamborghini Huracans and we are disrupting the peace today. shop it was quite the ordeal getting down here because I've never been here before uh, the Lambos were long gone so I was like all right Porsche buddy we're gonna follow each other because uh, we really can't keep up with the Lamborghinis I mean we're track cars all right we're track cars so we're not made for straight lines all right guys from one Porsche and to another we're in the GT3 RS this is a really really six spec it's in this love orange I believe and it's got the little racing stripe right here on the steering wheel. Alcantara steering wheel feels super, super nice. This is so similar to my car, even the cup holders. Uh, my vents are in a different spot, they're on the dash. And then uh, down here, we've got a few extra controls, like a lift, um, suspension, PDK Sport, which I just have the PDK, not the Sport. Um, we got the exhaust, we can open that up. And it's, this is a really cool feature, guys. We've got pit speed. So if you take it on the track, you can simply hit this, and I'm assuming it helps slow you down so you're not using your brakes. It probably slows the engine down, and you're driving at pit speed. So uh, got the paddles right here. I like this. And actually, guys, that's an upgrade that we can do to the Porsche Cayman. Is actually, I can get the uh, sport steering wheel here with this line. We could do a blue stripe, but uh, we could do the paddles right here. We could do the complete steering wheel. The only issue we would have is I could not control the volume of the music or answer phone calls from the steering wheel. But, I mean, the car's really not made for that. That's what the Mercedes is for. So, when we're in the Porsche, we really shouldn't be taking phone calls anyways. But, uh, oh, this is a really cool feature. Check this out, guys. We've got the little loop here to open the door. Check that out. That's so cool. GT3 RS. So should we bring a GT3 RS to the garage soon? Let me know in the comments below because this would be an awesome big brother to the Cayman. I think these two would go really, really well together. Obviously, we're going to get a wing put on the Cayman soon. Kind of like the GT4. But check out this color. These colors are so cool. I think I think we got something going on right here. Well, we are here at the shop. That is actually what it's called, is the shop. And we're going to walk inside. It's a place to hang out. Uh, I think they have a restaurant in here. Little hangout area. So we're gonna go in here, hang out, see what there is to do. Maybe get something to drink, because I am very, very thirsty. Wow, check this out. We've got the area in here. We're gonna go in here in a little bit. It's a public viewing area. Some really, really nice cars. Really very expensive cars. Got a Duretti right here. This is, this is such a cool car. Everything's so cool in here. A nice place. A number of member only events as well as shop classes. And then you can also store a car here. So all the cars that we have here are members. And then our in house restaurant is Derby. And uh, so that's open to the public even if you're not a member. You can still get a bike to eat, get something to drink, and see some of the cool stuff we have here. Uh, so this is the members' lounge. So this is a tour of the shop facility. What he was saying was is this is a lounge, a private lounge, a cigar lounge. 
and here is a viewing area and you can go out here and look at the cars and you can store your car here, you can work on your car here, you can detail your car here. It's all for members. This is the coolest place. Just imagine being up here enjoying lunch and overlooking a sea of supercars. Now, they just opened up, so there's not going to be a ton of cars out, but just imagine cars lined up as far as you can see all out there. Also over there is a wash bay where you can wash your car and then there's a little photo booth right there where you can take pictures of your car. Super cool place. This is cool. We may need a membership here so we can have access to a lot of really cool cars. Just look at these classic cars. There's Ferraris, Alfa Romeos, some really cool bikes. Look at that, so cool. Cannot wait till we have this place filled. This is just the coolest place. Get something to eat, hang out, relax. Look at your favorite cars. They were just saying that these bays over here, uh, it's kind of do it yourself. So you can pull your own car into a bay. I'll show you guys. Right over there, that's like a wash bay, and that's a mechanic bay. So you can do your own work or you can hire a tech to do it for you. You can do the same right there. You can detail your own car or use all of their tools and supplies. And then over here is a photo booth. So really cool lounge place. And then also we got the like display pier deck thing where we overlook all of these cars. That's a private lounge conference room right there. Really cool, awesome place. And a Ducati Superbike. Quiet work area back here. A lot of people are working from home, so pop in, free Wi-Fi and printing. Feel free to take whatever pictures you want. We ask you to tag us and post it. We're about 43,000 square feet out here. Uh, and that's storage, service, wash bay, and the VIP area. So what we're walking through right now, this is the main storage facility. Uh, this is for premium members, they have access to this, or uh, founding members if they have more than one car. If you're a founding member, you have the ability to support your vehicle in our VIP. Founding members have the ability to park one vehicle in here. This area comes uh, with our light art pictures that come from Seattle. Uh, fantastic to park your car under, great for Instagram posts. You've got 2,000 square feet of wash bay space. You've got four different bays. Um, you can bring your own vehicle and do all the detailing to it yourself if you'd like. This area is sponsored by Grillo's Garage. Um, we've got pressure washers supplied. The washers is how quiet they are. You can actually stand here and have a conversation over the top of it. It's not crazy loud. Um, so even with two or three running at the same time. So we've got four different two post lifts for members. Uh, they, you can come in, you can put up your own car. If you don't feel comfortable putting your car on a lift, we'd be happy to help you do that. Pull your vehicle I would not be comfortable putting my car on a lift. We'll put it up and, uh, and get your car up in the air. And SAE uh, standard. We've got everyone, we've got people in Seattle doing everything from oil changes to engine out Ferrari service. Uh, conceptually, we should be putting about 125 cars on the floor here, and then we're going to be double stacking starting about four spots in. We'll double stack every spot on the floor. And we're going to be doing triples on the wall. So we'll be stretching up towards 260, 280 cars total. Um, in the space. This is what like your rich grandma would have driven, but you're a successful lawyer. Like this was it. The, the kind of tan on tan combo was classic in the 80s. And to look at what 1988 Pinnacle of Mercedes is compared to 2011 Mercedes, it's just wild to see how far you've come and how much things have changed. So this is an 11 SLS with a bunch of Rentec parts on it. So uh, carbon uh, splitter, um, carbon skirts, carbon wing. This is a fantastically taken care of car. Owner also has it lowered and it's, uh, it's got the black tip also.
Now I know nothing about motorcycles, but I would say this looks really fast. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. It looks cool, it says racing on it. Does that mean it's been raced? I have no idea. Now these tires, jeez. They have no tread. Are they supposed to have tread? I don't know. But it looks really fast. So uh, props to you. If anybody out there knows anything about this bike, let me know in the comments below. I'm not really a bike enthusiast, but it looks cool. It says racing, it says sky, and the tires look like they've been used. So let me know in the comments. My favorite car in here besides the SLS is the Ferrari 488. This white body with black top and your black wheels. This is one of my favorite cars in here. I definitely want one in my garage someday. I probably would daily drive it. Just saying, I'd probably daily drive this car. It's just such a clean car. A lot of space on the inside. Super refined Italian engineering right here. And then my favorite part of the car, one of my favorite parts, is this rear end splitter with this rain light, like a Formula One car. Such a cool car. Such an awesome road presence. This will be in the garage someday. Yeah, Alright guys, so the food block has started. We've got a Wagyu burger and some fries. This place is really cool. We get to look at supercars on the eat. Well guys, that wraps up lunch with the crew. We've met a lot of really cool people here today. We've always seen their cars. We know what kind of cars that they drive. But we got to actually meet the owners. I knew most of them, a few of them I didn't know. Really cool. Matter of fact, this is a husband's car and that is the wife's car. So how cool is that? That is a couple goals right there. So Alex, where are you at? We gotta pick out our next cars. Uh, All right, what's up guys? What's up? Hi. You're on YouTube now. <laughs> you wanna hear the Porsche? Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo That's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. yeah! Well guys, we are back here in the garage. That's going to do it for today's episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Also, go to the description down below and click on the link, The Shop, because if you're in the Dallas area and you want to store your car, you want to have like a country club for you and your car and other car owners and like-minded people, it's a really cool place and they're really awesome. Their hospitality was amazing. The restaurant there, that Wagyu burger, was on point and it was delicious. Like I, I'm gonna take Alex back and we're gonna vlog that, get her reaction, it'll be awesome. Also guys, if you're noticing some of this like cloudiness over here in the corners, um, that's not a filter, that is the actual humidity here in Dallas. It's been raining at night and then it's like 95 during the day here and it's, it's like, it's hard to vlog outside because it's all so humid. Also, on a second note, before we close out, the C300 is back from being ceramic coated and it looks absolutely amazing. They did the entire exterior of the car. They did the entire interior of the car. They did everything. And we're gonna have a lot more of the C300 on the channel. It is such a nice ride. It's so luxurious, it's so comfortable. Everything about this car is just comfort and class and i absolutely love it but anyways guys hope you're having a great morning day or night or wherever you are in the world we'll see you next time